So, I don't have much today. And I can't really explain it, but I just haven't been feeling motivated in any way. And I just felt like maybe that's something I should get off my chest. Even though I don't really know how. So, um, I haven't played my guitar in about a week, and I feel sad about that. I, uh, I really like to, when I'm around people, I like playing guitar on people, and I feel like it's because I just feel encouraged. Whereas when I'm on my own, I get, I get frustrated, but I feel like everybody who plays an instrument gets frustrated at some point, especially when you're doing something that is new to you, maybe it's something that you're not very good at. Um, I haven't given much thought to New Year's resolutions. Because for me, almost every year, it's, it's, it's the same. It's, I should read more, I should write more, I should exercise more. I don't know what everybody else feels. I don't, that's, that's been me since forever, is reading and writing and I should probably exercise. I shouldn't be so sedentary. Um, good job. Like, I do what I can, but I just get so stuck. I don't know why I get stuck. I just get stuck. And I don't understand why I feel the way that I do about certain things, about certain people. just crazy stuff with depression and everything. Sometimes I sometimes I find it hard to pray. And I feel like some, that's something important to talk about. I feel like people who are good are Christians you know, going to church and praying and studying your Bible and fellowshipping. <laughs> It's okay to admit your faults. That sometimes, but I think we, I think we need. I think people need to understand that joy isn't happy, happy, happy. Every moment of every day. That when the Bible talks about the joy of the Lord being our strength, that also means at times of pain. You know, King David losing his baby. To. You know, Jesus dying on the cross. Jesus didn't deserve that. We deserve that. But here we are. And thank, thank our Lord for that, that we get to live another day. Well, one thing I try to do is um, just thank God for something. You know, even and even if it's something simple. You know, almost every morning I wake up and I'm alive. Okay, the way I phrase that sounded weird. I have woken up every day of my life. I'm still alive. But some mornings I'll wake up and I will say, Thank you, God, that I get to live another day. And that's one of the things that comes to my mind sometimes. Because I get these irrational fears. Or like I'm going to like stop breathing while I'm sleeping or something weird. Um, or you got some people who are afraid of like people breaking in or like a wild pack of dogs is gonna kill you. But it's not just, I wake up some mornings and I just have that first feeling of gratitude of thank you for another day, God. <laughs> It's just been a 
a weird week and I keep trying to find moments of happiness, moments of clarity and it's not always what you think it is. It's sometimes it's, sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's different every time. That what makes you happy one day doesn't make you happy the next day. What gives you fulfillment one day doesn't give you fulfillment the next day. And I don't know about you, but building a habit, the concept is incredibly easy. At its base, it is, so you want to exercise more. Okay, start wearing your running shoes every day. So you get in the habit of just, I am wearing running shoes, you're ready at any time. Uh, one person said, keep the things you want to do, keep them within a line of sight. Um, so if you want to read more, make sure no matter where you're at in your house, you have a book nearby. So that you just pick it up and start reading. You know, it's just a pay today. I read one guy, he, he would read upwards of 20 pages a day of any book. And he started out, he would read one page a day. Even if it cut off mid-sentence, he would read one page a day. And after a month or two, he was just in the habit of, I'm reading a page a day. He, he, didn't, he didn't increase it. It was for like, I want to say two months straight, 60 days. He read one page every day just to get in the habit of reading. And then he went to two pages and three and four and so on until, you know, he's reading two or three chapters every day, two or three different books a day. Same thing with writing. That's why I like those journals that just ask you to write down a sentence like, what I remember most about today is, or what I want to accomplish today is, what I see happening tomorrow is. Just, if you want to write more, start small. Write one sentence a day. Write one word a day until by the end of the week you have a full sentence, maybe less. Um, it's okay to not have it figured out. And I feel like a lot of society pressures everyone. You have to have it figured out at all times. And I hate that. You know, I didn't get accepted to like any colleges my senior year when I, when I was just trying and trying and trying I finally got accepted to the community college like a mile away but the more I started going there the more I just realized I didn't want to do that stuff I didn't like being a part of that what it sucked even more is that I couldn't afford it so I, I, I was kind of given an ultimatum financially. It was go take all this money and go to school or take all this money and actually be able to pay my bills and contribute to... I was living with my family at the time. Contribute to that. Pay for my car, pay for my phone, pay for insurance, pay for whatever. Now I, I still don't know. I'm going to be 26 soon and... I don't know what I want to do with my life, and I'm okay with that. I guess there's just so much pressure from so many people that you gotta know what you want at all times. I think it's okay to have a little bit of indecision. A little bit of spontaneity. Figure things out as you go. I like um, Gary V. He said, close your eyes till you're 30. And I think that might be what I have to do. just 
playing around, seeing what works, what doesn't work. People, careers, hobbies, habits, extracurriculars. Last summer I went hiking pretty much every weekend and it was amazing. I loved it. Wake up crazy early some Saturday morning. Drive out to a mountain and then don't come back till you hit the top. And for me that 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 was something that made me happy. That made me feel fulfilled. Maybe that's something for you. Who knows where you're at, who knows what you're thinking, but find something that makes you happy. Find something that makes you feel feel fulfilled. You know, if your old hobbies just aren't doing it anymore, you know, maybe you put them down for a few days, a few weeks, and come back to it. Like I said, I haven't touched this guitar in about a week and just tuning it. It just feels nice in my hands. And that's okay. Keep trying. That's the point, I think. Just don't ever, ever give up. but the Bible does say that all things work out for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And I think about that verse often. I couldn't tell you where it's at. <laughs> but I think about that a lot. It's all going to work out for good. Maybe it takes some time. That's okay. But Keep loving God as much as you're able to. Keep pursuing Him as much as you're able to. You know, the Bible talks about loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Start there. I think I've noticed that the more I pursue my relationship with God, the more the rest of it makes sense. Even if I'm just going to work and coming home. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe it's not. Maybe you didn't get anything out of this. That's okay. It was more or less for me. I'm going to pray, and then I just hope you have a good night. God, thank you for being so good. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for everything I have in my house, my home, my car, this guitar, my family. Thank you for... Showing me what I need to do each and every day. Thank you for being my strength. Help me to be honest and genuine with myself and with you and with the people around me. Help me to love you more. Help me to do good things for people. Amen. Have a good week. Find something that makes you happy. And tell someone about it. Bye now.